guys, this is Sean. Yeah. N.A. And Sean P. And this is Two Sides and Then the Truth. All right. But we provide the answers. They provide the questions, and you and decide the truth. the truth. That was terrible, y'all. We'll get How? better. <laughs> No, we, the yeah, crazy part vacation. about it is Sean started it and just kind of like we Yeah, but you know what? Like, yeah. You, you cannot No, y'all can't give black people time off. That's I know. How it is. You can't give black people no time off. I'm the only one that had the time off. So no, when you got the time off, we got the time off. Too. We was like, oh, Mel, <laughs> Mel in Costa Rica. Well, where was you, Mel? Like I was in Honduras, come on. Belize. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. How long were y'all able to stay? Because y'all had three man. porch. Yeah, we were on a seven day cruise. For a week. Mm. For a whole week. So y'all got wow. to spend more than just a few hours at each port. Yeah, we spent eight hours at each port. Okay, it must be nice working for yourself, huh? Yes. Okay. okay. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I, I, I feel like, what's his name? Uh, the guy that sung Must Be Nice. Must, must be, be nice. nice. <laughs> hey! is how well so we all know it's worth it. the 90 percent of people well i don't know if the numbers i'm saying 90 percent mm -hmm. majority of people are going to have to work a, a nine to five yeah right there's some pitfalls that come with that because i'm still working a nine to five yeah. until all i see of us. yeah so it, it is what it is but it's not necessarily the most fun thing in the world to have to mm -hmm. do right you know uh, run into different stuff so i I guess we're going to talk about that a little bit yeah, and just see what some of us have experienced. And we're not going to get too specific. Like, you know, like I said, we don't want to get fired. But what, <laughs> but what did we talk about? <laughs> Luckily, scenarios I own my own business, business okay. now. So I don't know. I yeah. Yeah. Fired. yeah. And the scenarios <laughs> that happen at other jobs that we are no longer employed at. Yes. We should be able to talk about those topics. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And then, y'all, the ones that are tuning in on Ari's live, on my live, drop your comments. Drop them. Um, Let's talk about, you know, the workplace ethics, the politics, and the snitches that are in the workplace. Because there are politics, and there yes. are snitches. Yes, yes. And it's, it's tricky politics, too, because it, the, the repercussions for not hmm. necessarily going along with that script can right. be, yeah. you know, yeah. detrimental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I, I, I'll... um. I'll start off with this, this quick little story, so you can we can kind of. Can set we take a shot first? And then yeah, we can get ready and get loose. Okay. I, now I really feel like at first I thought I was the alcoholic. Now I feel like I have made a union with yeah, alcoholics. Yeah, alcoholic. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ma'am. I got not an alcoholic, but just enjoying. Oh, I'm not the only person that drank a shot already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did already. drink a shot already. How many shots, male? Uh, and okay. we have our special guest in the house. Big D and that. Big Boss, say hey. Go Byron. It's a hey. <laughs> it's an old school friend. Y'all know that. To a great Let's show. To a great show. Let's go. Great Hi. show. Click, click, click. My stomach finna be hurting, world. I'm just mm. finna let y'all know right now. Oh, so, Lord. Mm. Yeah, I hear some strange noises. That's a stomach and not, not the mic. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Lord have mercy. I can't even hang with y'all. So, a little bit. This, this is ironic that I'm gonna tell this, this quick little story because... Mm. Uh, one of the people involved in the story is sitting over here. Okay. Wow. Just, know, just okay. know random shit. Oh. Be, be remember, the first time I ever uh, got in trouble, mm. where well, I, I got locked up, <laughs> um, you know, we used to do this thing where we'd run out of stores, steal some beer and shit, and it was a game to us. Okay. It was it continued to be a game until I got arrested. Oh. Mm. I had to yeah. go to the county, 10th floor. Glad For the beer. Yeah. Over, beer. Some, over some beer. So, <laughs> we were... Uh, 17, 16, 17 B, yeah. something like that. Okay. Let's forward, fast forward all the way to me being 30 something years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
running out the store at 30, wouldn't you? No. Oh, the crazy <laughs> part about it is... You say a recession was <laughs> coming. So, okay. First of all, I don't, I don't really like rubbing no more. <laughs> Not really one of my, my things. But I think I was uh, 39. Okay. Damn, um, I'm sure you was 40? Yeah, I'm okay. not, I know, I'm, nigga, I'm 39. Not running, right? 39. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, so oh, okay. I, I gave the groundwork. Okay. And, and okay. this is what happened. So, 39 years later, I'm working at, I'll say the hospital, Kelsey Sebo. Okay. So, when I got in trouble, I got deferred adjudication. I went, Check. Got put on probation. Check. Went to the Navy. They counseled, they terminated my probation. All good. Check. Okay. okay. So, okay. from 17 to 39, so 22 years, mm -hmm. I'm at work. And uh, true story, I'm at work, and um, the main manager, I guess the di director, comes and says, Hey, Sean, I have some people I want you to meet. I'm like, Okay, cool. So I go down there, and she, we, we talking, she uh, cracking jokes and shit like that. I walk in this room, and there are three other people in there from HR. Mm -hmm. so Shut I'm up. Like, set you up. So I'm like, Okay. Hey y'all, what's going on? Oh, nothing much. And then, so they did it with a friendly voice. Mm -hmm. um, he said, well, we have a discrepancy. Mm -hmm. Now, when I, I filled out the application, it was, have you ever been convicted of a crime or whatever like Ooh, that? another shot, y'all. I said, no. <laughs> I said, no, because from my understanding, me you being had. on deferred adjudication, right. it had. comes off your record. Yeah, it's not right. a big deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm 39 years old. I have to reiterate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said, well, um, we had an audit of all the people that have been hired over the last two years because one of the HR people had gotten in trouble for something. And everybody that they hired, that she hired, or that person hired, got evaluated or whatever. I mean, they, they went over the... They got audited. Uh, they, audited yeah. 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 they found out that I went to jail when I was 17 years old and fired me on the spot. Wow. What? Yeah, they, I sued they ass for everything. Well, you can't. Worth. You can't. Why not? Because, because they can in Texas, wheel. you can fire. Yeah, it's yeah. at will. At will. Well, it's that's what I was just going to say. Yeah. In it's Texas, will. It's, it is an at will state. Yeah. And he would have he would have had to have proof that they actually did a background check. So that means that whoever handled you said they did it. No, they so, didn't well, do it, right? They did the background check. He said, hey, something's on your record. From uh, said, what happened in '86 uh, or whatever? And you explained yourself. I explained myself. Said, okay. So you might have could have fought that. Well, no. So what they did, they told me was, you know, we fired the lady, and everybody else that that she hired, they fired. They, they fired if there was something wrong. Yeah. But mm -hmm. your your coworkers and stuff kind of spoke up for you. And you can reapply in ninety days, and of course, shaky. Kansas Cebo, count your days. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, count them, bro. Sharonda, count them. Sharonda, my wife was like, "Man, fuck them people. Don't go back." Yeah, that would have been me. I would have yeah. been like, "Baby, you could get better." Mm. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so th this is why this is important in to tie into the conversation. Yeah, see, so we good. get we get uh, kind of conditioned to believe that. What you do is you go to school, you do this, blah, 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 you get a job, you stay there for X amount of time, you're yeah, retired, right. you're good. So I went back, and I didn't get, you know, uh, it wasn't quite the same because I was still a little bit salty about yeah. what happened. Yeah, Absolutely. because first of all, I would left that like, so baby, you ain't got no insurance. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they canceled everything. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, because you yeah, only we had 30 days. days. Yeah, yeah. No, I had been there, that's the crazy part, I had been there for almost a year. Uh, year and a half. I know, but after your employment mm -hmm. is terminated, you have thirty days yeah, after yeah. before days your benefits, the, and, the, and then that's all right. Like, yeah, and then yeah. you had to. So by ninety, everything was terminated. Yeah, yeah. That's bullcrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happened, and because of that, I, I kind of lost out on the opportunity to, for a position I had applied for the job yeah. for it anyway. Oh so, wow. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, I'd have been salty. So yeah, that it, it's tricky salty. working for somebody else. It's harder to work for yourself. Yeah, and it's. It has more risk. Yeah, it has a lot more risk. Working for yourself, but also... Because yeah, they could replace you in a dime. And if you're working for yourself, know. HR is not going to pop up one day. Right. Because you HR. You HR. Pretty day. much. I'm just saying, you HR now. So how long were you, did you, even though you were salty, how long did you stay at Kelsey? Uh, for probably another nine months. Until you was just like, this ain't No, me. Um, the position I, that I wanted... So I'm, I'm a certified pulmonary tech. 
And the, the lady that was over it was retiring, and nobody in the Kelsey really knew how to do PFTs. Right. Can, can you expound on that? What is oh, PFTs that? are pulmonary yeah. function tests where we put you in a basically a box, and we do different breathing maneuvers to test your lung capacity, oh, okay. your diffusion rate, well, how, how that's how well you ever transfer oxygen in lung compliance or whatnot. You have COPD or you're restricted, which means you have lost lung capacity. So restriction would be like asthma. Oh, COPD okay. yeah. would be like emphysema. So, so that I make you do that like that little breathing thing within like that little thing that goes up and down on here that's okay. pretty much the same concept that's, okay. called, that's a um a spirometer okay but the machine is also called a spirometer and it's a little bit more technical okay. okay so um i was gonna take her position she had already told them this is who i want you have to be there for 90 days before mm. you can so since I got fired and so got, got you on the, uh, the 89th yeah, day. So yeah, I wasn't even there for nine months. I was there for a few months. And when they wouldn't That's let close. me apply for the position. Yeah, enough is enough. Yeah. I, y'all y'all done fucked me with no KY jelly. No I KY? Y'all enough. That's all. Oh, they took a That's running start. Done. I'm done. They so that that's fun. that's a nice story. So do y'all want to hear mine? My story ain't as nice as Sean's. Mm. Well, how's that nice? It. Well, give it to it. It was devastating. It was devastating, but you had the nice. I was salty, salty about my experience with HR. Uh, not really with HR, actually. It was my actual boss. Mm. So I was yeah. uh, associate director you know, at a said name financial company that was black owned and I was so excited to work there. So just imagine me being pump, 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 pump. And from that part, I had a, I had two temps under me at the time. And the, okay. no, the two, they were two part-timers, excuse me, not temps. Okay. And I had actually got them from another department. So HR reached out to me, letting me know, hey, you have these two People that are not coming from your cost center, they're coming from the lady who, who loaned me the two people cost center, but they were working in my department. Okay. She said, what I want to do is, this is HR telling me, she said, I need you to come upstairs and what I need you to do is I need you to, uh, we're going to give go over some resumes and we just want to give you two more, diff two more part-timers and what have you so we okay. can swap out those cost centers. So cool, cool. So I let my manager at the time know Hey, HR is calling me. This is what happened. Blah blah blah. I actually, uh, caught her at the elevator. So I said, I've been calling you, looking for you. Blah blah blah. So she and I went to HR together. We logged into HR, showing them or letting them know, hey, we're here. Blah blah blah. So the sticky part about this is, I'll say maybe a month later, I get a call from her boss. And he did not talk to me in the manner that he should. His what words to me was, who gave you the authority oh, to start hiring people? And I'm like, oh, I'm at a loss for words. Yeah. Me, sir. yeah, I say, wait a minute. I say, first of all, Mr. You know who? Uh, I said, what do you mean? I said, <laughs> I know I don't have an authority to hire anyone, right? I said, I didn't, I didn't hire anyone. And explain to me what you're talking about. Well, M said that was my boss. That uh, she did not know. We Jim. Oh, I almost said the name. Jay said. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jay said. <laughs> she she a machine. So he said. Um, Jay said that. Um, you hired these people because he talks to M, and M said she had no knowledge of it. Now keep in <clears> mind, <throat> she went to HR with me. <clears throat> I said, here I go to first. The first thing I said, I say that is a bold faced lie. Mm. I said that's a bold faced lie. I say so. First of all, can I ask you before accusing me for you to check your facts? I said if you would, you we checked in together with HR, and I said not only that, I have an email where she sent us all the resumes to both of us, letting us know about these positions. <laughs> I said, so why would I be lied on to say they didn't know? And I say, first of all, I didn't hire anybody. And after I explained the scenario with y'all, he said, well, hmm, why would she lie on you like that? I said, that's the question you need to ask. Need to ask Did she, was she being sarcastic? No, she was no. lying. To, oh, this woman is a liar. No, I'm talking about the woman that said that. Uh, oh, girl, she don't know she who was she is. A liar. <laughs> oh, if she watching, you know you are a liar. She don't know. And I was like, to the point, I was like, how do you just go bold face lying to keep yourself out of trouble? Because what happened was she did not let her boss know, hey, this is what happened. We're needing to now, this is going to hit our budget. Mm 
Yeah. So when they they had a shock when they saw the budget because they have two brand new tent two uh, part time workers that are not on the budget and instead of her being honest saying hey I didn't let y'all know she thought she could drop me in, in the grease mm. and everybody who know me <laughs> know I am inspect the gadgets so okay. I told them where to go and who to talk to like how do you ever trust your management after Sheesh. they blatantly lie on you to that mm. magnitude it just it it destroyed all trust so I mean. There's a lot of points we can really <clears throat> talk about in for as deception in the workplace. But mm -hmm. it's not it's not only trusting your management, it's also trusting the upper classmen, right? Mm -hmm. That still upper keep management. upper management yeah. that yeah. still right. keeping them on. Absolutely. Right? Because now we showing no some type of favoritism yeah. now. Yeah. Right. You no right. know right. uh, a, wor a work snitch is kind of valuable though to management, right? Yeah, they are. They are. They're the ones they that really are. Me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust a work snitch if I was management because yeah. I would feel like well, damn, you're telling everybody else you could. You're going to do that First to me. First of all, yeah. I don't trust yeah. nobody with the last name that I don't have. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. You got to have Considering some professional Considering the fact that you don't, when you go into the workplace, you know everybody is out for self. Yeah. Everybody, I don't talk to nobody like that. I don't, I don't confide in nobody. We ain't friends. Yeah. We ain't friends. The only unfortunate part is I spend more time with y'all than I spend with my family. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm just saying. I spend more time at work with y'all, bullshitting with y'all, laughing and talking with y'all, kicking with y'all, knowing about all the little, little Kyle didn't do this, little Kyle. First of all, y'all families is nasty, and I never, ever, ever, oh, yeah. ever, ever do no. <laughs> I will never, ever do. What do they call that? Um, they, they, they do the, uh, the bring all the food and all oh, that. Oh, hot looks. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. it would be my look. Yeah. I get little Jenny that they ain't wash her hands. When or she have the cats that jump no, on the stove. Yeah, I mean, no, you thank you. You don't eat yeah. Huh? You don't eat the I don't do no. pot luck. I look at him. He eats the pot luck. I bring my, I bring my own. His ass eats yeah. the pot luck. Look at him. Nigga ain't cooking tonight, so I'm taking this with me. Especially if, like, if, uh, see, the if, pot luck? if the Filipinos make the, the pancet. The what? Pancet. It's It's like noodles. Uh -huh. It has like a little bit of meat in it, but yeah. it's a Filipino. Beer. And you can't figure out why you coughing every every day at seven o'clock. You, but you know what? I'm gonna eat the <laughs> no, pot. Like, oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's okay. No, I'm gonna sit with y'all. No, I'm gonna fellowship with y'all. <laughs> yeah, and the shit I brought is mm -hmm. what I'm gonna <laughs> eat. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Point blank. Or what I about the up. What about the people that can't cook that bring food to the oh, pot? Well, you know, I, I, I would look and I see what they have. I would they can cook if they can't because I ain't eating. Well, you can I look at it. Well, yeah, you right about it. that. Now, I'm so here's the, here's the thing. The, the people I work with are very judgmental. Yeah, me so, too. So the standard for our potlucks, our potlucks are, they, they pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, fuck yeah. So yeah. when you say you at Kelsey, mm -hmm. no, 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 Kelsey no. might be getting... That's I mean, not where he's at now. No. Oh, well, where you we at now? We ain't throwing no names out there. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. No, no. We all right. No names out well, there. at least but, you gave them a good review. But shit. the thing is, we we all see the people that come out the stalls. So <laughs> yeah. they go from the they stall to the door. They don't wash their hands. The nasty oh, no, thank you. They do they not wash their hands. They go from the stall to the door. Yes. And yes. I'm like, no, baby, you bypass the, the mirror and the sink. No, thank so you. So y'all eating it based on the, the people that you work with? Yeah. You? yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't eat based on what the what you see the people But that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like a competition of them. You don't yeah. give them a six-month minimum to know who they are? Okay. <laughs> not at all. You don't you know, get to know them? <laughs> Well, I've been there for so you, I, I've been I've been there for years. Yeah. So I mean, you I, but you, it seemed like you was eating that shit coming years. out the door, Sean. That, <laughs> it seemed like you was eating that shit coming out the door, Sean. I, I to enjoy tell. our problems. <laughs> yeah, when you enjoy our problems. You try, you I try it. to tell my husband that the, you don't eat from everybody. No, you don't. I mean, you I can't eat from everybody. I, I eat from uh, food trucks. Look, he you know, I mean, I eat food. I'm a taco hoe yeah. all day. I and, eat If you don't eat truck. food, if they got some the nigga that's home, selling I food outside of the yeah. club, yeah, yeah. yeah. you can eat the food. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Short story. Short story. Real short story. I do not eat from nobody that sells outside the club. And the reason why, my uncle, bless his heart, I love him to death, the only crackhead with the whitest teeth I've ever met in my entire life. That's what I Good. I would say this. 
He will go get food out the dumpster that they throw outside. I know a lot of people. That, well, I don't know a lot of people. He, that is I'm telling, common. We, we come yeah. from a small town. So what he would do was he would go and get to make money. He would go and get the food out of the out of the dumpster that they would throw outside because at certain times you would thought that throw meat out, right? So he if would you go get, get the, the food. Right time. It ain't been there that long. It's he would wraps. go get a basket of food, and at the end of the night, he would go barbecue all that food up. And sell it outside the club. Uh -uh. First of all, I know where you got that food from. I will never, ever, and I keep telling my husband, Chris, I love you to death, baby, but do not eat outside the, the, mm -mm, I don't eat outside the you club. You know what, yeah. Because he will go outside and sell it, and he will make hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Because the, the, uh, to them, because you drunk, I ain't the meat no coming more. out, be, oh my God. I ain't no he will come out with that dumpster meat. No, thank you. I can't do it. Very, very short short story, y'all. I promise to God, I love potato salad. Mm. I love, love potato salad. Mm. Too. Mm. My family, mm. you know what? I hate to put my family out here, but it is what it is. Everybody so I'm going to just go along. I'm just going to This is supposed to be bad. Bad. I'm going to just, just, just go a little bit. I went out of town because mm. I got people everywhere, so they yeah. don't know who. But I went out of town. They had potato salad, right? Mm -hmm. And it was an outside event. And I, I'm not understanding, I'm not knowing at the time, because I was young, that potato salad got all that shit in there. Yep. It has the to cooler. be kept Cold. on ice yeah. in a cooler yeah. Or, yeah. or something. Yep. Yeah. I ate that shit, y'all. And when I say, oh my God. Lord forbid, I was shittier God, than shit. I have <laughs> ever been in my whole I'm entire life. Oh, from the mayo and the mustard and the So I come back and I'm like, who made the motherfucking potato salad? Like, I just want to know. How, how, how old were you? I don't, I don't even know how old I wasn't. Were you an adult? Oh, yes. You, you, you should know about I should have knew that, right? So, some of that on me, but when my ass is hurting, because I've been shitting for a couple of days, <laughs> a lot of times, I need no. to know why you made the fucking potato set and set it outside. What? Right? Cause no I, ice under it? No ice, no nothing. Just sitting this shit on the table. Ooh. Baby. Well, I, 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 I mean, just, now, I mean, when I go to events, I have to be very, very <laughs> Sean, you can probably edit this part out, but yeah. they, I, I've always been told potatoes is like coochie. You can't eat that around the table. Say, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You can't eat that around the table. Since we're alive, I'm going to decline to even comment on this shit. Let me say something, though. It was good. Then a bitch going down. Just like he did everybody coochie. Because it went all the way down. That's why I should have knew, Marie. Ari, oh, hey, you're going to be shitty. How do we get off on these topics? Please, Please, Ari, 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 Ari. That's why Ari, I should just be on you know, a couple What happened was all I did was mention Pablo. Yeah, and it went from there. Okay, yeah, back, 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 back to HR. Yeah, anyway, we got to go back, back to, to HR. HR. We're uh, on topic. Sorry, guys. Pansets is good. And yeah, I, I, don't I don't know if some of your... your uh, Y'all viewers know what pan set is. Okay. But I don't. They oh, probably don't need the shit. It's good. But anyway. Pan set? No. Yeah. Mm. So, true story. I have been an entrepreneur for a very, very long time. When I first started off, like, 19, 20, you know, when you just starting to try to figure out what you want to do, mm. I've been in uh, medical for a long time, right? I did maybe, like, four years, and then I went over into entrepreneurship. Been entrepreneurship, I'm 43 years old, mm. right? So, something Stop in me... Man. 43 boo now something in me was like ari go back to work i don't know what the hell i did that for so i go back was this recent this was very recent okay and i don't even give a damn if they know i didn't know i ain't playing so they but know. this was very, this, this, this was very recent i ain't had no job in almost a full-time nine to five right. working under somebody else trying to understand the fundamentals of why the hell you in my face mm. right because i'm okay. a boss I, I i run my own stuff but now i'm like you know what my kids are growing up they finna be gone what am i gonna do with myself mm -hmm. let me take this certification that i worked my ass off for and go back mm -hmm. so i go back as a hospice nurse mm. Bless your heart. Mm. Mm. So it was not even my clients. It wasn't the people I was working with. It was her ass in HR. Mm. She did not like me. And she merely, and I've never ran into anybody that has not liked me. But of course, yeah. I am very opinionated. And I am not going to let you tell me something 
that is wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, okay, cool. I understand yeah, yeah. where you coming from. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to, you know, get all out right with it because I am in a place of business. But, boo, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody else was, so whatever when, that when, is. when you told them she was wrong, did you say it in, other, in front of other people? Yeah. Mm. Uh-uh. Yeah, because she got me. Uh -uh. She got me to the meeting, though. I wasn't even fucking with her. Uh -uh. I, I wasn't messing with her, and then she asked me, right? Uh -huh. Everybody talking about being truthful and shit. Well, yeah. if you don't want the truth, don't ask me, because yeah. I'm going to give you the uh, truth. I was like, you fucking with me. Say what? I'm saying. Yeah. She, she calls me into the office, and she's saying, you know, Ari, you doing good. You doing this. You doing that. But, but okay. we got to let you go. No, not not yet oh. though. <laughs> not, not, yet. Yet. not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. So she's saying this, this, that, and the third, right? Then I wind up leaving, going and hurting my back, mm. which 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 pushed me to do uh, all the extra stuff that they had to mm -hmm. pay for. And so I'm guessing now she's like, "Oh no, bitch, this is not what we gonna do because we a small company." And you're gonna have to get your back together, right? Oh, hold on. So it's like uh when you said small company, was it a um like it ain't a, it ain't a, it wasn't a Herman Memorial, but it was more just a smaller a small scale, scale. of <laughs> sending people out, you know, mm -hmm. like I was a traveling CNA mm -hmm. at the okay. time, yeah. right? Yeah. So I hurt my back, I do all of this, I'm probably skating for about four or five months because my back is really injured. Mm -hmm. i now y'all done got somebody that really is hurt. And you, you don't want to foot the bill no, for it, right? I'm not going to foot the bill for it. Okay, cool. So then she called me in. Now she want to have a meeting. You know, let's talk about it because we, this is what she says. We don't have the money to keep you on. So what did y'all do? Did y'all not think that me turning these heavy ass patients, mm -hmm. that something wasn't going to happen? Did y'all yeah. not figure that in? Even though y'all have the athletes or whatever it is yeah. for your patients to go because my back really is hurting mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so she goes well i'm just gonna need you to get it together mm. so you she mm. expect you to suck up your pain mm. right your yeah. because my back fucked up too that's just like a right a, but that is common in the medical field yeah. so yeah. that's something you gotta you gotta our, prepare our for and all, like, yeah. right and, and, yeah. up. and yeah. besides y'all yeah. been y'all been established before i came along yeah. so that lets me know that whoever was before me just sucked it up and i'm not yeah. So you're wrong for even thinking, and this is what I told her, you're wrong for even thinking that I'm going to come up in here and lie about yeah. my shit being hurt. You lie. Tell your mama to lie. Because it ain't going to be me. <laughs> <That's just laughs> tell HR to tell their mama to lie. Not so you me. already don't like me. So which was, I'm black. Uh, she was a person of that nature. She's where black? She's vanilla. She's vanilla. Well, she's not even vanilla. She take home. She Mexican. It is what it is, but she's one of those uppity, you know. Yeah, she like the minority, but a little bit over the minority is how she looked at it. Nobody in the office was black. Let me just say that. Nobody in the office was black, mm -hmm. but it was minority there, right? Okay. Um, and the other ladies was like, hey, you know, we, we step on fine two cones. Right. But I don't. Mm -hmm. And is it like like y'all said we all we might need the check? I don't need the check. I'm just coming back because my kids is gone, and I don't want to do this, and I don't want to do that. Cause really, oh, I can leave yeah. today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But right. I wanted to try to get back into the field, do what I gotta do, and say, hey, I can still be a CNA while doing my entry, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was my experience with HR that you would put somebody in a position knowing that they really don't like their own kind because yeah, actually right. we're together. Yeah. Okay, oh, wow. so now we're going to proceed with talking about fairness in the workplace. There is none. There. Okay, come on, Mel. Give a talk to us. My thing is, I, um, I had went out for a surgery and it was a personal surgery or whatever. And I was supposed to show this young lady what to do when I was gone. So I missed the point. I did. I, hey, listen, I was trying to get out of here. And you know how it is when you're going somewhere. I was going to be gone for six weeks. So the thing was, look, she was one of us. So I'm thinking, okay, all is good. When I come back, I hear all this rah-rah. Oh, Mel didn't show me how to do X, Y, and Z. Mel didn't show... Babe, I, want to, I didn't so show you how to she, do one she thing. She was fucking up. There you go. Mm -hmm. And it was my fault. Because she, she didn't catch on. 
Gave her all the bullet points. Gave her all my notes. Gave her a SOP. Mm -hmm. Gave her all of that. So standard operation. Standard <laughs> operation. Procedures. <laughs> yes. Love it. That's a damn Come on, acronyms. Yes. Yes. Come on, Come on acronyms. All like you acronyms, baby. So I gave her all of this. So um, fast forward to two weeks after I got back, she starts telling everybody, "Oh yeah, male. You know, acting really funny with me. You know, a male's doing this, male." Everybody that knows me knows I'm outgoing. I'm, I, hey, I ain't got no bad blood with nobody. She went on to tell the supervisor. The supervisor entails come and front me about not helping her. And my friends at the job are like, girl, why you acting so funny with X, Y, and Z? I'm like, I ain't acting funny with nobody. So they were like, girl, she came to us crying and going on. I said, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So she, so she's to the point now where wow. she's crying. Oh, she's crying. Is it because she's in trouble or? No. No, that's probably she just her persona. She wants me out of there so she can have the position that I had. Mm -hmm. That's her character. Mm -hmm. That's what so, that is. I'm going to call this hell for Weeping Wanda because yeah. that's who she was. Right, so Weeping Wanda, cry on cue, she gets, we, we get into this setting. What's and, the ethnicity? Not that it matters. She it does. Yeah. She it matters. Okay. She was Because it's levels to the yeah, it's a, okay, gotcha. So, yeah. and the one above us was a little vanilla. So, I, you know, I left it at that. So, she could get the crying going on. She was like, well, I'm old enough to be your mother. Oh. Man. I was like, first of all, Sally. Hmm. No, you ain't yeah my bad Wanda. <laughs> yeah, Wanda. but see I always, they always figure that I'm younger than what I am mm -hmm. and at this point um you know That's actually black I crack. was but it don't crack it don't even <laughs> tilt a little bit don't crack. but I actually was 10 years younger than her and she didn't realize that she didn't know that because she didn't know me exactly and she went on to tell everybody how I was mean to her. I was doing this and doing that. First of all, I'm just trying to end my tenure. Like I said, you so you were ten years older than no, ten years younger. Than oh, she younger was. than her. But she was older looking than me. Yeah. Mm. So she felt like she was could be my mother. Yeah, her, so her black did crack. It, it cracked. It, it crumbled. It she did all that crack. Me. You know, she she been around sixteen a couple of times. Damn. Anyway, so <laughs> she went and told the supervisor on me, and mm. so when I went in and proceeded to tell, I went to, to the supervisor like, okay, I'm going through the channels how you supposed yeah. to go, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, so what? This woman tried to, I mean, she went at me. I was like, hold on. Wait a minute, boo. Yeah. I said, hold on a second. Why are you good? Wait, you the one who started all of this stuff? I said, I didn't stop. Oh. So, we went, to, we went through the different channels. All right. Long story short, I did get let go. I off got, of that incident? Off of that. They were doing, so you hit one of them? They were do, no, I didn't hit anybody. They were doing layoffs. <laughs> they do more than let you go. Yeah. They, they, were do, they were actually doing layoffs. So they were doing so they layoffs. Made sure that you and they, that lady made sure mm -hmm. that I got let go. Wow. So with that being said, what she didn't understand was I got one of the better packages. Because I had been there 14 years. Yeah. So I had got one of wow. the better packages. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. That, that 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 wait, wait. Don't stay over the 14 years part. Oh, yes. I had been there 14 years. And she years. had been there how long? Two. She had so been why, there two years. So here's, here's, here's my question. What was it about her that caused them because to Because they so felt much that I, because she was crying. Okay. She, I found this on the web for show. Oh. Why is my question? What was it about her? Ooh. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, don't play. Don't try to be brand new. Don't try to be brand new. Don't try to be brand new. Serious, serious. You use my ass around this time. Okay, don't do that, y'all. Serious, we'll talk about it later. Don't sit down. Don't look. Don't do that. But no, she had been there two years, and she felt like okay, I I could take her position. So. That's what she was etching to. But they let me go because they were they were sending the jobs overseas anyway. So what she didn't realize was I got one of the better packages out of all of them that got let go. So I I baby listen, I I did the horsey ride up out of that. I didn't but give you know, down. But you yeah. know what? You know, but that that just goes to show you though, HR if almost in every 
job. HR is not right. But let me finish. Because they got to be coincide with each other. But no, they no, have no. a pick. Let me stuff. finish. They thought that I was going to sue them. Mm. That's why everybody was upset because her, the lady's manager. Now, God don't like ugly and he ain't too fond of pretty. Come on now. Mm -hmm. So, let me say I this. I know he worked it out. Yes, he did. Because I got mine and unfortunately, I don't wish bad on anybody. I do. I don't. I actually don't because I, I believe Am in I a higher power. No, but I believe in a higher power. And the last time I checked, he ain't lost no battles. Yeah. So what I say by that is the lady that, that had that weeping Wanda, she got let go the next year. Baby, she passed out when they, they drug her out of there. That's so because that she on some yeah. Literally, no, literally, when they told her that she was let go because they were still doing layoffs. Yeah. She got, but see, she didn't get no package because she had only been there They're two, two and a half years. years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Now, the lady that was over her, God rest her soul, she died the next day. I mean, the died the next year. I I'll leave that. Like, oh, you know, and, and so that's like, how I. Minute, like, just because I fired her. <laughs> very firm believer that everything happens when mm -hmm. it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something that you deem like, damn, this shit happened, this was fucked yeah. up. Right. But to me, I feel like, and a lot of people can say different, but we all have a journey. We don't I know do. how that journey gonna I be. Do. Yeah. You know what I'm we saying? Do. But it happened for a reason yeah. because Absolutely. sometimes, yeah. Mel, you might have not even needed to be there. That might have been somewhere where you wanted to be, where you right. see yourself right. being. Yeah. You know what but I'm see, saying? But see, my, my issue, and I, and, I, and I dig that, but here, here's the thing. So when you're working f for somebody else, and this, I have to clarify, there's nothing wrong with having a nine-to-five job. No, it's not. But nothing. it's fraught mm -hmm. with peril. Yeah. So if your mortgage, your cell phone bill, your Just... car note, and more important than anything, especially with us being a little older, you know, we done, we done lost we a lot of friends. Yeah. Uh, a lot we of friends have died insurance. over the last yeah. six or seven yeah. years. Yeah. But that's age related because you're going to need your insurance. Yes. insurance. We've lost a lot of people. Right. A lot of our friends that we've grown up in, we're starting to uh, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. pretty uh, much. Of shit yeah, that, much. that we used to think old people died of. Like, right. oh shit, when we get up there. Yeah. So the older you get, the more reliant you become on your job, whether it's right. insurance or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the whole entrepreneurial thing. So I'm trying to work to that. To that point myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't get let go at the drop of a hat and just because uh you piss off the wrong person right. or um there's something that I did that you don't like and you take my livelihood from me. Yeah. Because it's more than just the yeah. journey's important, mm -hmm. but at that moment, maybe that's six or seven months before you can find another decent enough yeah, job right, to pay your right. bills is yeah. critical. Yeah. You need that. So it, it's I don't understand. Why it's taking so like huh. Yeah. And because, 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 well, yeah, you're, dealing, because yeah. you're dealing with maliciousness. Because you're dealing with the flesh. Yeah. You're dealing with every every man for themselves. And yeah. then sprinkle yeah. a little jealousy on top of that. Yeah. Sprinkle a little yeah. this yeah. and sprinkle yeah. a little yeah. that. When you, just like you said, when I'm when I go into this workplace, mm -hmm. it's me. Yeah. I don't care about what y'all doing. I don't care about what y'all going on. I'm coming here not to make friends. I'm coming here to do my job, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's just like that for HR, too. So you don't think it's important to go there and at least act like you're making friends? No. You can play make nice. To play nice. You, I mean, you play that's nice. what I'm going to say. To nice. make associates and you make, make associates. Time, I don't but make I would friends. prefer not to. Let me just come here, do what I got to do, and leave. Because so, when I come here and do the extra, it be the extra. But so it's it, clear. You're going to be passed over for a lot of promotions. Because you might you're not be playing honest. the game. Yeah, you got to play that game. You, you, you still got to learn. But then that's and when you got to wait. It when, takes time to learn to play that yes, game. Yes, it does. It does. It comes with a skill set. Yeah, it comes with a skill set. Because nine times out of ten, you see these people ten to twelve hours a day way longer than you see your yeah. kids, way yeah. longer than you see your spouse, way longer than you take care of your house, all that good stuff. But you have to know how to play that game. Yeah. 
And I'm sorry. But I see, but then, but then, real but then, good. I cuss. I don't know, y'all. At 14 I years of age, how to are you going to be stagnated? I'm Because if something. you're not a people person, how are they going to put you anywhere to lead people? Well, it's not if that you're you, not but at it's enough. not really, to me, it's not really, well, yeah, okay, be a people's person. I'm not saying that I'm going to go there and not speak and not be no, diligent right. what but I'm but doing. Yeah, and, that's hey, how you doing? That's but the bare minimum. That, yeah, that's what I'm the bare minimum. It's the bare so, minimum. But sometimes that's not it's all not that you yeah. need to do. You, you yeah, need to, and I'm not to saying that's something. For projects. Yeah, I'm not saying that's something you gotta do. Right. right. But and that's the whole reason why we have this conversation is because you don't really have that freedom to not interact, right. exactly. to not uh, engage with other right. people. Once right. you do exactly. that, then you're you're considered an outsider. Yeah. You're not somebody that they can trust or that they feel comfortable with putting you in a position because you haven't interacted with other people. Yeah. But I didn't know that. Maybe it just might have been the people them, that I done ran across. But you still no, want them it. to mm-hmm. pay your retirement. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm big on that. Yeah. Pay me while I sit my ass at home and do absolutely nothing because you. I deserve that. Yeah. Because I've worked for that. If you've worked 10, 15 years at a job, then they you deserve to get that. And it's some people getting two and three retirements because they were yeah. 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. And after five, they still get their retirement because Social Security ain't guaranteed. Nope. And that's the way it's being depleted by people who have not paid exactly. into the system. That's a whole exactly. other topic. That's a whole like, other topic. Oh my Let me God. tell you something. Short story. Mm-hmm. Just, just today, because you know, I said I got, they let me go. Well, they didn't let me go. What do you got fired today? No, not today. On your day off? This girl. <laughs> that was the worst. You're right? on your day off. Yeah, but y'all, y'all had to bring the Friday into it. Y'all had to bring the Friday into it. This is in, no, but like a couple of months ago, they was like, hey, Ari, your back not getting no, no better, and we don't have any work for you. We we can't pay you, basically. We don't have the funds to keep you on yeah. and bring you into, because at first they had me in the office, but mm-hmm. then I started hearing the secrets that they ass had in the office, and they no longer wanted me in the office, mm-hmm. right? Why? She started hearing Did the you secrets. just hear what I said, Sean? I started hearing all the little office secrets. Were you, were you telling them? Or? No, no, but I was there now. They don't on want right, to right. For like three, to like when I hurt my back, they didn't know what to do. They didn't know right. what they wanted to do with me. So they stuck me in the office, right? Mm-hmm. So now I'm just sitting here doing Sally's work because her ass don't ever do no work. Mm-hmm. But now I'm getting to hear what's going on, what's going on with the, the head HR manager, how she... Stealing this shit, and then over here with they having a little side conversation. So now they're like, "Hey, we gotta get Ari out of here because mm-hmm. we doing we much. doing all this shit, and she's hearing it. But what if she say something? Maybe because I don't interact with them because I don't. When I come into the office, I pick up my check. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, got they know. Didn't, so they didn't right? know. So, 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 they, didn't know. so yeah. they got they got me, and then I was the only black person. Now yeah. all the other black people worked in the field because mm-hmm. we was traveling. Mm-hmm. But now they got my big black ass up in here, mm-hmm. and they like, "No, we gotta get her big black." Okay, so I I leave, right? And they have me at home. And for a couple of months, I didn't even apply for um, unemployment, Mm -hmm. right? So me and B, we were sitting there, and I'm like, let me apply for my unemployment. Mm -hmm. So today, they approved me, right? They approved me for $289. And I'm thinking, like, where the hell are my money? Because I know. I well, B, B so was like every week, so every two weeks I'd be getting like six something. But I was like, no, because my checks was like twenty five, yeah. three thousand every two yeah. weeks, and I was bringing them in. What, what the hell? I put some time, some effort, some money into this company. Yeah. Why are you seeing it? Back? But again, that's where your retirement mm. come in at because Social Security. That that's what is coming out of Social Security. Mm. It's not paying you nothing. So when like my kids say, Mama. You was at this job 14, 15 years. Yeah, and nine and a quarter, I ain't do a goddamn thing. Mm-hmm. Because I learned how to maneuver and mm-hmm. how to do my stuff mm-hmm. wisely and and, and, and manipulate. Work right, and not mm-hmm. hard. Yeah, I didn't need hard, to yeah. work hard because I, I learned what to do. I get in there, and hey, if they call me and say, hey, Melanie, this is where we're paying you when you retire, I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. I'm good mm-hmm. with that because Social Security ain't about to pay you nothing. Mm-hmm. Not the way the economy is right yeah. now. I'm not even going to lie. You know, I feel like sometimes a nine to five is not for everybody. Right. It's not. Because if you, if you just like that kind of person I am, just go get in and get out. Like, I just want to come do my job. Yeah. And I don't know half of y'all names. Yeah. But we still good. Yeah. That's only if you don't want to promote. If you don't right, want to promote. Right, yeah, right. Everybody has a different agenda. Are. Yeah. And you just, this is what you want. 
Shoot, you can yeah, be because there. HR, man, I don't know what be going on with them people that be yeah. sitting up in HR. They they be thinking that they better than you. Because that's how I felt. Yeah. You, know, you say HR does? Or yes, just... HR. So, it, it, because it, they have your livelihood in the yeah, They do. And I wonder, uh, I'm not exactly sure, you know, like Sharonda, she could probably break down HR because she's mm -hmm. familiar with that world. Right, right. But I think a lot of times it seems like HR is ducking lawsuits and stuff like they that. Are. Mm -hmm. They so are. And so mm -hmm. they let a lot of nonsense go on mm -hmm. and that kind of erodes away at the, the morale of the environment. Yes, it does. And no, so, I'm talking about they stank ass attitude. But you have to learn the game. Yeah, so it's you not gotta learn game. it's not something that you can necessarily take personal in the sense that you think it it's just a aimed at you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Yes, everybody, everybody is everybody getting it. Yeah. And so, but then how, how can you figure that when you see she over here, right? Mm -hmm. And she laughing and skinning and grinning. Well, who she go to lunch with? Yeah. But me, just because I come and I do my that's, work. That's, 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 that's what that's we're saying, right though. That that's that's, that's the thing. It's yeah. Something could happen to you that you don't like, and you go to HR. They're like, oh, well, we'll look into it. Mm -hmm. Or. Uh, Hey, we all have to learn how to get along, guys. And the, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we we're a team. Yeah, that's speech. Pizza party. Yeah. Pizza party Friday. I want your funky pizza. But, 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 and then if you, oh, if you act like an ass, that's then how they treat you like, you like, like you're like an ass. And then I want to hit their ass, but, but see, but see, but, that's yeah. the drawback. But What's then that? when I want to hit your ass with a lawsuit, now you want to talk. Now you want to be friendly. No, all I said was, I'm not like you. I shouldn't have yeah. to be like you. I shouldn't have to kiss your ass to come up in here well, and work and get the same so, thing. So, so here's the thing, and I and I, I, I agree with you. Yep. So I was presented with a choice hmm. uh, about two years ago. You can get the COVID vaccine. Kick <laughs> <laughs> rocks. Yeah. I think now, all of so us were presented with that the now, 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 hold on now. But it, this is this is where. You know, you gotta, you gotta pay like you wait. Yeah, you I'm a, I, I was against the vaccine. I was but, too, but however, I, I got it. I got a family. Yeah, yeah. right. I got, so yeah. I made, I you. made a business decision. It's not just about. Let me go ahead and get it. I don't like you telling me what to do. Yeah. I don't. You know what I'm saying? And and I went ahead and did it. But you always have a choice of either doing what they want you to do. I feel like you have to. Or doing what you have to do. Yeah. So you don't have to do anything. But if you're of the mind, and I and I get it, so I'm, I'm yeah, not, not disagreeing. Like, if you're of the mind that, man, I don't want to do none of this yeah. shit you talking about. Yeah. Then you can sit your ass at home. Right. And right. And and then you right. Go, but you go and do you, like what you're doing now. But you, now you, you go and do it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, the, I guess the drawback with that is probably at the very beginning, you're going to make less. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or nothing. Yeah. I'm this a baby. I'm happy with up. my lifestyle. Yeah. But see, what we but don't it's realize go is bye -bye we if, have to piggyback off of what they're doing to make our own way. Yeah. And if we don't, we're going to sit here and complain and yeah. whine. And the, best our thing, smart and the best thing somebody told me a long time ago, as I'm whining and complaining, she said, she, listened, she sat there and listened and she yeah. said, your 15 minutes have rolled around. Now what you going to do? Yeah. And I was like, What's well, damn. I'm yeah. clutching What's my next? pearls. I'm like, well, damn. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. What we going to do? Keep but, 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 but that's a real thing. But yeah. I'm okay because with it. Because we're going to whining and complaining. If I'm whining and complaining, I could back my shit up. No, it's not. It's no, not, it's not we're not, not saying that. that. It's not we're not that. saying that because we, we feel the same way. The only thing is that we've accepted right. that this is the way it is. And there's nothing we can do about because work, politics, and stuff mm -hmm. like this. Gonna yeah, it's always going to go it's yeah, that way. Here. But once you, yeah. once, you get to a, once you get to a point where you can't do that no more, you don't have to. No. You go yeah. do something different, mm -hmm. but there are going to be That's some. That's why my ass is entrepreneur. But even right being now. an entrepreneur, you got to make sacrifices. Right. Because right. you're right. going to have a customer who don't agree with some right. things that you do or are unhappy with your yes. services. Yes. Now, a true entrepreneur ain't going to just say, fuck it. Ain't yeah. nothing else I can do about it. You're going to bend over backwards to do whatever it is that you have to do. For your so customer. you still, you still but that's what I'm going to say. So you retain still, that customer. You still, you still, you still want to take shit anywhere the you go. But how much of the shit 
Well, that you gonna you take gonna and, and so that here's you here's how here's how I look at it. Because yeah. when I was younger, you know, be no, be monster no. I was way more high strong mm-hmm. in the environment mm-hmm. we grew up in. Now what do you know, fight up? But nigga, you disrespect me as a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then what was called is you carry that mentality over into the work environment. Believe yeah. it or not, you do. Yeah, you do. You do. So if somebody do something or say something, then you off at the mouth. You have to be trained. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta learn how to, to work learn, in the fire. To work indoors. Yeah. yeah. But you, but, <laughs> come on, do that again. You have to, you have to be trained to learn yeah. to work yeah. indoors. You, right. you gotta be trained to work in entrepreneurship. No, no, no. But you that's working indoors. Well, unfortunately, yeah, you can't train. So I don't think you can train somebody to be an entrepreneur. You can train them to deal with certain situations that may arise. But that's what that discipline comes in. Yeah. You got to do that on your own. There yeah. is no course. For you having to, man, I'm sleeping, motherfucker. No, it ain't I don't feel like no, wake, right. I, no, hold on, hold on. Here, just hear me out. I don't want to. I don't want to wake up at five to go do this, Jeez. nigga. I work for myself. I work for I'll, I'll sleep too late. Yeah, wait, it wrong is. answer. That's wrong the course, answer. though. You teaching your own course. Wrong no, but it's <laughs> not. It's not. But the thing is, unfortunately, just like we were talking about the cameras and shit like that, you gonna have to learn that shit from. Doing it wrong. Yeah, mm-hmm. doing it wrong. Yeah, you're so, not to. Mm-hmm. Right. But the, here's the thing, though. If you put in that same amount of effort that you mm-hmm. put into working for other people, right, mm-hmm. right. But but then that comes back also to you still got to play the game. Yep. Because mm-hmm. if a customer is acting shitty, you, you can't smile. just go all the way directly to. Oh, nigga, fuck you. I yeah, beat your yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it. Because they, they got Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. They got that structural they, HR, yeah. right? Yeah, they got, they got the more structural. They got, wait, they got the, the entrepreneur HR. There are yeah. always, <laughs> always, no matter what you're yeah. doing, there are always consequences. Yes, it is. For yeah. you keeping it real. Yes, Because first thing they're going to do is go to their phone. Oh, she said. Yeah. Let me tell you what she said. I got said. video of that third like Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. First. Now, these fools will video you before they'll help you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I don't know where that crap came from. That's, 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 that's a whole social media. That's a whole social media atmosphere. But. but at this point, we know where social media is. All you have to do is learn how to play the game. Hey, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a social media. Yeah, episode. we should do that we next, next, next week we'll with entrepreneurship. Yeah. But and the once media. you learn how to play the game, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's over. Yeah, because it's not a it's not a black game. It's not a white game. It's the game. Yeah, and Period. once you feel like once you figure out you can't really play that game, cool. Yeah, let's go create your own game. Yeah. But when you're creating but, your own game, it falls from what you've gotten from them. Absolutely, you still got to know how to. Yeah, hey. you do. You still play on that, that first episode we did. We talked about people um, having businesses, and you go there and you get on the phone, yeah, taking your order. Yeah, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's still there's still there's always going to be rules. I think yeah. the the whole the main thing, especially with this topic that we're talking about, is the things that when you do everything that you're supposed to do, and it comes out bad for you because of something that. Mm, somebody else. Somebody else did. Yeah. So let me tell you about work snitches. So you, you have any? Have you ever been in a situation where you had somebody just go and tell on you, or oh, somebody yeah. to make a mountain out of a molehill behind something you did? Have you ever done that? Have yeah. you ever been in the workplace more than yeah, this last years? Little yeah. Place. Yeah. yeah. So what what happened? It don't even nowadays. It don't even take twenty plus years. No, no. No, I'm just that. saying. If you've been in the workplace twenty plus years, you've gotten that. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what happened? happened. What, what happened with you? With the snitches get stitches? No, yeah. no, just they just be snitching for no apparent reason. You come in there and you're not even trying. You doing your job because you just doing your job. Right. You're not trying to mm-hmm. say, "Hey, this is me doing my job. Look at me, look at me." Mm-hmm. No, you just coming in there and doing your job, and it's like, "Oh, but you know, I already missed this right here, mm-hmm. and she missed this and this and this." And 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 instead, y'all t- instead of telling Ari, instead oh, of telling Ari, yeah. say Ari, "Hey, I know you knew." But this is the way that we do it, and the way that you're doing it is okay. But if you do it this way, no, they gonna and straight. And that comes out in a meeting. Yeah, it always comes out yeah. in a meeting for some strange reason. Yeah. You should have sent me your coffee. You'd be like, yeah. Then Sean, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa,
that motherfucker, and that's oh. what they are. Excuse my French, but y'all know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I had to use this one, so I, I had somebody. This was done to them while I was a part of it. Oh my god! And I was the manager, mm. so this made me look at people different. This person differently. Hey, such and such, Godly. I see that uh, that Chick Fil A line must have been long because you ain't get here at nine fifteen. No. And I was like, dog, did you just do that in front of me? Yeah, it was that low key snitching. Yeah, that, that's, that's that dry snitch. Snitch. That dry yes. shit. Yes, yeah. that is the yeah. snitch. What, you supposed to be that nine? It's supposed to be that nine. It, okay. And mm -hmm. that's when they said that Chick Fil A line must have been long because you were supposed to you ain't get here at nine fifteen. And I'm just like, why do that in front of me? Because I was that manager. Where because they were all salary too. Mm -hmm. I I don't know why the company put all of us because they knew we were gonna have to work over. So yeah, even, even with salary, yeah. you gotta be there. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, they still yeah. want you there on time. From what I was heard, so yeah. From from my aspect, when my manager get on me, like make sure all your people are on time. There's no way I'm getting ready to micromanage your time, Ooh, I and I have you sitting nobody. there an hour, two hours after work to complete your work, and you don't mind doing it for me. Yeah, so I, 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 I wasn't gonna do shit. that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't this. give a shit. That's some helicopter. Yeah, manager. I can't. I won't do that. You know, and I, I've gotten in trouble for not doing it. But I'm not a micromanager. I believe that mm -hmm. if you treat your employees with respect, they're gonna go to that that mob. Because just think about it, they management never thinks if you run everybody off, how you gonna do the job with ten people? Mm -hmm, hey, you ever let think me about tell, that. Let me tell you something. At you, well, okay, let me not drop no names. But at these packaging companies, right? Mm -hmm. Some of my kids, yeah, they work at a packaging company. And the manager, I feel, has basically been running everybody away. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, I mean, running her whole crew. Was she looking for the next week? She looking for more people. Yeah. So it's like, how, how, where do those managers come from? What, how... Is it because they don't know how to manage? They don't. It's because they Everybody don't. should not be in nope, a managerial exactly. position. Exactly. Because most of the time, the ones that's in a managerial position don't run shit at their house. That's right. And so they, they got to come yep. somewhere and, and run somebody. you yep. at, your st at your place of you employment. You think that's what it is? Yes. Oh, yes. That's why they so rude. You know good and well them folks don't run nothing at their house. Yes. Look, I, I, don't, I don't mind a manager that's overbearing. You don't? Well, hold on. Let me tell you why. I was in, well, I was tell in the me Navy. Why. Yeah, explain. Well, yeah. Okay. okay. That's now, but there, there is one thing about the Navy, though. You used a nigga on your neck, huh? Mm -hmm. No, they don't build me on your neck. What it is, I, I've been conditioned to do exactly what, what I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. when it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. And why? Yeah. Nigga. No you're, talking I, about I'm it. I'm damn near a perfect it, yeah. employee. Not mm -hmm. only that, I'm never late. Mm -hmm. So not only and am I on I am 20 minutes if I'm twenty minutes, if less than twenty minutes early, you feel like you're late. I feel you're like late. I'm late. Yeah. So this, you don't have to do that with me. So it's almost boring for them to sit up there in the hel helicopter uh, manage me because helicopter. you're not gonna. Yeah. You're not gonna get yeah, anything yeah. out of it. Right. It, it's, it. You're just wasting time at that point. Yeah. Mm. Right. So man, I don't. Anyway. Yeah, it's not necessary. It's, it's not. It's not, not necessary to do that. So I'm not. I'm yeah. not used to that. Yeah, and then uh, the ones that don't, they don't need to be here. But the, the they issue that need I, to be gone. The issue that I have is managers that don't manage their employees. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about my present job. Mm. At um, I used to work for Memorial Hermann. I was a surgical tech, and when I tell you that the inmates ran the asylum, mm. it was a really hostile environment. Dang, and it was unfortunately a lot of niggas. Um, there's other people too, but the niggas were the most. Yeah. <laughs> they ran it the most. They ran it, bitch. Black <laughs> folks, black folks. Well, <laughs> they, they, have, <laughs> they have they have strong arm. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I fuck with it, but here's the deal. Yeah, I when I come in on some company man shit, because that's how you look at it. Yeah. Mm. Um, when you ain't agreeing with them, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I, man, I do my thing. I do what I'm supposed to do. And they doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And that's not agreeing so, with them. Yeah, that's not, that's not in their ball. Yeah. Right, well, I don't, right. I do, I don't give a fuck about what da, 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 da. Exactly. So, but here's the thing with niggas. <laughs> and I'm talking about niggas. I ain't mm -hmm. talking about black people. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing with niggas. If you're, if you're like that, then they take that as a sign of weakness. Yeah, they do. They really so, do. Oh, this nigga, nerd ass nigga. Nigga, I am, so right. I am 6'4", 252 pounds. Yeah. I will beat your, your ass, ass, nigga. Yeah. And I grew up around niggas like B-Monster. I grew yeah. up in Southwest Houston. Yeah. But I just don't act like that. Yeah. 
So, yeah. this nigga, um, older cat, who was in this department that, that we worked in, and he had been there for like 22 years or whatever, I'm new. And he just felt like that was his... That was his stance. That was his stance for him like, to say, "Yo, nigga." Mm -hmm. Nah, that was his 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 environment. It was all oh, his. That was yeah. his. Yeah, yeah, like yo, nigga. And then one day he just follow the rules. I just had a bad day. Ooh, yeah, I, 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 so I didn't go to I didn't go to work that day saying I'm gonna go off. Right. But nigga, I've been acquiescing to y'all for a long, yeah. for a minute. I ain't no killer, Ooh. but don't push me. Don't push me. <laughs> don't push me. <laughs> don't push me. I didn't know. What the fuck shit you been doing wrong? I, I've, been here, I've been here for about, because I only lasted there about nine months or so. Yeah. So I've been there for four months. I know all y'all. I, I didn't size everybody up. I, I know who I can whoop, who I can't whoop. Because it you was, come in knowing that. So I, uh, mm -hmm. I told that nigga, I said, look here, nigga. And it, did, the whole, it was a white nurse. And, I don't said her name, but she was like 65 years old. Mm. She was toward the end of her. Thank you for being She's not used to that shit. Yeah. So when he said what he said, <laughs> I like, um, look here, nigga. Watch who the fuck you talking to. Mm. Yeah. And you she's trying to look all white lady? Oh, uh, Betty White. I had played nice yeah. for months. Yeah. yeah. Tired, and tired so she shit. like. You get tired of this shit. Oh my God. I can see the fear. No, she didn't say anything, but I can see the fear. Like, oh my fucking God. Mm -hmm. And so they had this thing called a cold green. And so they call a cold green. On your ass. It's somebody hostile. It's somebody hostile. Yeah. Yeah. So they show up in force and shit. So she, you know, I didn't know she wanted to call a cold green to the next day. So the nigga was the old man. And then one of his legs is fucked up too. Don't Here's my it. thing like this. You here. beating up the handicap? Uh, <laughs> If you have, if you, oh my god, I want you to, want you to understand like something. If you're old, and when I say old, he's like 15 years older than me, mm -hmm. and I was at the time I was about 44. Sure, if, if, if you if you're old, and if you're handicapped, I need you to act like you're. Yeah, old. guys, let me just tell y'all, we do not promote <laughs> whooping on old people. I'm almost old. I think I, I think I, I think I'm like, that type of shit I, I, I'm here. And so, <laughs> Sean had a moment. He yeah, had a bad day. Let I, him make it. Well, you know, this is the whole tale H because they want to go to H. Was that the last mm -hmm. time you whooped the old niggas' ass? I did, I'm not. I'm not trying to fight nobody. Oh, okay. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter. I needed to have a clip of this. I don't. I, that was good, I'm not a fighter. That's not who I am. But nigga, I've been around people that are really dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna let you. So anyway, so I get off work. I trying to pick me up. I'm like, hey, so I'm probably gonna be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let her know. You gotta let her know. Because I don't need to be getting into it with you, too. She, he got in the car. No, 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 with no. Disclaimer. Okay? Let me tell you a whole disclaimer. I, I, I told her how messed up it was there. Right, but I'm just saying, but let me see you so on the car, so I don't be cooking your ass out. But too. She, it ain't no kiss kiss. I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be on the floor tomorrow. I think she already saw it coming. Because I would get the call. She, what happened today? Okay. Mm. But every day it was something. Yeah. And so then I told yeah. her, so this is what it is. I had made, you know, so. You made peace. Uh, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out where I can go work. Because I'm now cert I am a certified pulmonary tech. Yeah. I've been at pulmonary tech, tech, uh, 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 surgical tech. Yeah, he like the. Well, in my mind, I'm finna get he fired. He like the Mimi. He's sitting at his desk applying for other jobs around his No, no, I just, Lord, I just Lord. threatened my co worker. <laughs> yeah, you did. You yeah. did. So yeah. I get to work the next morning and, um, uh, I'm going to call her D. She's the nurse manager. She comes up. The white lady. Hi, Sean. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. going to need to talk to you. And you get, can, you, can you come down to the office? Her ass don't even read really about 15 minutes. Tea. Look, give her 15 minutes. Get a drink. Oh. Can you come down in about 15 minutes? I'm like, yeah. I and so, not know. Fuck it. Well, no. They try to rush it. Mm. Get, Look, <laughs> have your 15 minutes get, now. Get a couple more hours on the clock, baby. For real. And, uh... So, she, uh, so I went down to the office, and um, the, the old cat, and I have to say that again, Jay, mm -hmm. Miss Jay was in the office and shit, and she's still getting sort of God. It's been damn near 24 hours, or close to it. She got, like, tears in her eyes. Aww. And the old cat, I like, she was chewing his goddamn gums and shit. And, uh. Um, the one that you... Threatened because he was talking to me raw, mm -hmm. and um, 
they told what happened and shit, and then they left. And then I'm, I'm stuck with deep, Miss Deep. Now you get to tell your side. What? They told the truth. Okay. okay my <laughs> there was no side to tell. Right. And the, you know what she told me? She, well, Sean, you can't use the N-word. That's, you know? that's all she got from that? She said, well, I can't say it. You can't say it. She was... She laughing, but she laughing and right, she trying to laugh right. a serious situation off. It's, yeah, you was at, you was at your pivotal peak. You was that's what let me know that I had to leave, and it's not because she didn't take it serious. Did she fire you? She did not. She gave yeah. me a verbal warning. And but you took it upon yourself and left. I like, can't stay here. How can you? Yeah. Low key threaten your coworker, and y'all don't do nothing about it. So that means if somebody threatened me or somebody go overboard with me, you're not going to do anything about it. No, she let So that know. means y'all are, are alive. That's why I said earlier, they let the inmates run the asylum. So yeah. Yeah. if there's an issue, fix it. That's because all the niggas is up in there strong arming. She a little bitty white lady. She, but, it, you know what, it's, it's almost like she, she might have even had been threatened. No, I don't. So, I don't, don't think. think I don't. So? I don't think that's the case. I no. think when she came in, she was like she already peeped the culture of this of the yeah. area. She said, "Well, shit. All I gotta do is come to work, clock in, and go home. If this is hot, oh, y'all." So she was on some riding type stuff. It's not that. She's not riding. She's trying to build a career for herself. Yeah. If y'all are dysfunctional, I'm not gonna come here and fix it. And so to the point where I threatened the old. Well, I say old oh, man. He wasn't that much right. older than me. An older gentleman. An older gentleman, right. right. but. The environment, when you have an environment like that, that causes everybody to be more aggressive. Right, right. Because everybody has to fend for themselves. But like I told you before, I'll beat all you motherfuckers up. <laughs> Sean, you are so aggressive. Everybody. No, because if that's the rules, that's the step. When I was living in Southwest Houston, I knew my place. Shut the fuck up. I don't want anything. But you put that in a corporate environment, that mentality... And it took a long time for it to come out. Because, once it took, well, like I told you before, I've been trained to work indoors. But does that push you to want to do your own thing? Not or continue to work for someone else? Because at that point, you're like, okay, I got to work for this person so that I can get where I need to be. I wasn't there. You weren't there yet. No, so fine. you still had to work for someone else. Yeah, I wouldn't got no job. With I thought the, that was the answer. With, the, uh, with, with another set of office politics. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what I'm trained to do. But oh, we're all so, trained to do that. So only recently has it become. It is about money. Nothing nefarious. Nothing. Some. Some. Somebody did something. Nothing to do with HR. It's. This is what I need to be paid because I'm underpaid. Is it money or is it peace? Money, probably a little money, bit. Money is not that important to me. I was going to say probably a little bit but of both. if I know yeah. that somebody doing exactly what I'm doing is making, let's say, $20,000 or more. Yeah, I have a problem with that. I have that. a problem with that. I got yeah. a problem with that. You know, I so it, it, did I sign for this amount? Yes. So it's not their fault. Or did they negotiate for something better than what you did. I didn't negotiate. It was leaving that place that I was just at mm -hmm. and going to a better situation. I just but took it. in my mind, honestly, in my mind, if I left this place, just say for, I left this place at $20. I'm not going to make a lateral move and say, I'll go work that's over a, here for a, $20. That's exactly what I was no, man, no, sir. No, no, no. The, no, I'm not, I'm not saying what you were no, making. No, but, but I I don't ironically, I was making $20 but at that place. But my thought plate. is, if I leave here... I, and when they ask me, well, Miss Love, Miss Rito, how much were you making? I was making twenty five dollars over here. I'm not gonna go from making what I made over here for bullshit I that I made over here. Bullshit. Let's say I more than doubled what I made okay. there at the new position. That's where. Well, that's but then what that's when I realized do. because of that, because I doubled it. Right. I took it, nigga. You underpaid. You from didn't. doubling what you did. From doubling it. Oh wow! You did not even negotiate because so you, you were so have tripled what you made. No, no, it's not that much. But there's still. Yeah, if you if you were still getting underpaid while you were doubled what you paid over here, you should be getting not tripled. quite not quite triple. But let's, let's, let's just let, let, let's just say I'm underpaid for for my position. Okay, I got And you. so and then that's when I when I pursued that it was like we can't do it, we can't justify it. And it was like oh shit. 
And that's, okay. that's when, because that's like, okay, once I make a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. It didn't turn out that way. Mm -hmm. I make a certain amount of money. Now I'm unhappy because I know that somebody making the, doing the same job that I'm doing is making a substantial amount of money. You can't pay this employee um, this amount of money and then pay somebody else that's doing the exact same thing. $20,000 more. And these are actual numbers. Well, so don't they the, don't they patent it by saying the type of experience that you have? Baby, I've been in the medical field for twenty two years. But you have to go in I and talk your shit. I'm a certified pulmonary tech. I am a surgical tech. I am a sleep. I have sleep lab experience. Um, I, so then it would go yeah, by no, the. That's no, what I'm saying. They're don't paying me. Levels? They're paying me based on what I agree to. Because if you go in there and talking I, your shit and I negotiate, excuse my French, grabbing well then, your balls well then and making yourself you. being known. That's what I just said. Yeah, that that was, yeah that's, that's what, what I just said. Do. But the thing is, there's nothing I can do about it now. No, no, not after you sign that paper. Right. No. If I'm working yeah. for myself, I have complete control of how much yeah. I make because yeah. if I work harder right. and do extra. I will get paid for working hard and doing extra. Right. No matter what I do. Right. Right. It's not going to change. It's not going right. to change. It's not. So gonna yeah, change. it's my fault. I yeah. signed up for that. What they paying? Right. Now don't get me wrong. It's not peanuts, but in the back yeah. of my mind, yeah, you could be less than what you. Yeah, you could be making what what right. you're worth. Absolutely. Basically, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So what's the next topic? Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk about how important management is. Management to me, again, is important. But in my mind, management is people that don't have management at home. They get ran their ass over at home. So they get to you and they have to put their foot down. They have to assert power. They have mm -hmm. to do X, Y, and Z. That's just sometimes oh, what management management means to me. I'm just so you're a, you're a manager. No. No, you are. Huh? At the dagger spot. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Okay. I am. So, okay. what style of manager are you? I am not a helicopter manager. Manager. Okay. I feel like, okay, I have three different employees. Three different attitudes, three different people, and I assess them all. And I look at them like, I should not have to come behind you mm -hmm. and tell you X, Y, and Z. You are grown. If I give you instructions, I should be able to walk off. I shouldn't have to come behind you and tell you, listen, you didn't do this correctly. Because honestly, you know you didn't. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you want your check. So if I stop giving you your check, let's see how, how well you do your job. Mm -hmm. That's just me. So you don't uh, you don't have ever have an issue uh, like with a person coming in to, you know. Like I've, had, to I've had. So, I've had. come. I've had them come in late. I've had them come in complaining. I've had them come in and just sit and act like they don't want to do it. Because I, I'm, I'm that cool boss. Okay. I'm that cool boss. They, they hang and laugh and talk. I don't even take a shot with you. I'll let other good. Because I know what type of environment I like. Okay. But when I give you the rules, I need you to, buy by. Mm -hmm. I need you to go by that. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, if you go by these rules, I ain't got that problem with you. I ain't got no problem with you at all because at the end of the day, I'll pay you. Got it. But now I'm finna test your gangster because now you ain't take out the trash. Now you ain't mop no floors. Now you ain't clean no this. Now you ain't do that. So what I got to pay you for? So, oh. <laughs> so, so now we need to so talk. Like, so, so now like, we need to talk. So, so, hey. <laughs> So you don't give them their paycheck? Goddamn right. You can't because, do that, man. No, because what am I paying you for? <laughs> if I'm in here doing your job, what the hell am I paying you for? Were they there? Yeah, they were there. You got to pay them people mail. Oh, shit. Bullshit, my ass. No, you got to pay no. them people mail. But see, when I asked you to do something, you ain't listening. Are they family? No, hell oh, no. Oh, you got to pay them people mail. No, 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 no. But see, let me tell you something, Sean. When I asked you to do something, you ain't hear me. Oh, it was a joke. When I ask you to do this, I'm sitting back and watching you. Now, at the end of the day, you want to get paid. So, now all, of so a sudden, now all of a sudden, you want my attention. So, it's a conversation before the paycheck comes. Okay, I got you. Why don't you correct it? Oh, we've corrected it already. 
We've corrected it. Now I want to see how. Now, now all of a sudden you want to hear me. Now all of a sudden you got you got to understand what I'm talking about. My, I'm a firm believer. In, hey, hey, clock out and go home. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say I am. Uh, I'm almost like Mel. I have <clears throat> managed four employees under me, and I will fire your ass. But I'll let you I'm drown not, yourself. I'm not, I'm not really going to. I will let you I'm drown not, yourself. I'd rather. If I wanted around. my kids here. If I, uh -huh. if I wanted okay. my kids here. Okay. So that lets me know. Well, first of all, you're already in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So the, pe the people that you are selecting to come in and run this business with you is helping you build and mold your structural business. I get it. If you're not here to work, right. then why are yeah, you here? Cool. It, it ain't no give you, it, okay, give you an opportunity. Once okay. I talk to you one time and I tell you, hey, this these were uh, the things that I hired you for and you're not doing it. Can you just please step it up? Yeah, I'm, I'm fair. Right. But so, I'm not finna know two, three, four, five different times and so holding I, your check. I believe in star employees. Hmm. So a star employee to me, mm -hmm. they can do everything right. Meet their own time. And then one day, I know she's like, oh, you doing your own thing today, huh? Yeah. I let it go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you build equity. Mm -hmm. you know. And, it's, and the only time I've ever actually had to exercise this was in the Navy. Okay. Uh, oh, one other time when I was an assistant manager at a restaurant. I'm like, oh, okay, well, shit. I don't think you're doing all shit. You know, you do whatever, it is, you know. Uh, I just need you to be on time. And when you're at work, I need you to do your job. Outside of that, I don't give a fuck. Unless y'all beefing. Well, yeah, of course, outside of that. But you, yeah, to but, me, I so, don't feel like I, I don't let it go carry on and on and on. No, well, no, but, but it's, <clears> once again, we're talking about star employee, mm -hmm. right? That's so, the difference. That is a difference. Well, yeah, I mean, so yeah. So yeah. you can earn the right to fuck up a little bit. Yeah. You know, and I can't that's, do that. that's the one that always delivers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah you, yeah. you, you but, can, don't but, but then, that's what I was going to say. Not get comfortable. You really don't, even with a store employee, you really don't want to start that. Because right. if you, if you, if you got to, if you, if I start this with you yeah, and then you fuck up, you. then I have to finish it. Let's just stay on. Well, I mean, to, to a certain degree. I mean, I, right. I, I agree with that. Because if you got called off that. because something is wrong, because this and this and then the third, well, yes, I, I'm to. leaning so that So some way. of these places, like the corporate, we talk about HR and shit, if um, you call in for a legit reason, mm -hmm. they have a point system. Mm -hmm. No, that's cool. Well, I thought y'all was saying when you're here, you're going to work. Mm -hmm. All that, what, what Mel was just talking about, all that slacking off, no, 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 complaining. Mm -hmm. That's that's without question. Well, I'm yeah, talking about, right. That's different. I'm talking right. about, yeah. you got a solid-ass employee. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, I'm going to do right. As long as that employee do, do right, right by me, you have, I would do right by you. You have places where that, none of that matters. Mm -hmm. So if you call in, yep. for whatever reason, man, you, you weren't able to call in but two hours ahead of your schedule. That's a point. Yeah. That's, right, that, that's what I was going to say. But then, yeah. but then, and then once you get a certain number of points, but yeah. that's what I'm going to say. But then, what if I'm the? What if? What if you're the business that don't have no points? You know, well, no, that's, just, that's a little bit you know, But we talk right. about corporate, not, corporate, you know, with HR and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And so it's almost like they're trying to build a case to get rid of your ass. Yeah. Well, then if you're doing corporate, it ain't no lean in the seat. Whatever you sign for, when you sign for employment, that's what your ass needs to be doing. Absolutely right. My kids have been let go plenty of times because, Mama, I was late. I called in too many times. It's You could be the star employee and be yeah. fucking up and mm -hmm. get let go. Right. when that's you, true. Especially like Amazon. You, I used to work at Amazon faithfully for like a year and a half. And I see people just get the retention is so high, but they just get let go. Yeah, let go, I heard let Walmart go, let go. is like that. Well, Walmart yeah. is like it's that a revolving too. door. It's a revolving door. Yeah. McDonald's, mm -hmm. all the tra all the chains, chains are like that. Yeah. All the big chains are like that because so they've taken the human uh, experience out of yep. it and just made it a, a number right. thing. That's yep. what that's why I brought it's, up the you, story. You helping them nice. build yep. their business, what? and as soon as you don't make them, or as soon as you make those points. Right. Ain't no girl, you so good. I gotta keep you. No, because that that McDonald's manager's like, girl, I gotta keep my job, and you didn't do your job. So therefore, I'm sorry. You was my best one I had. You know, you a ass up, head down. You did what you need to do, but what? you didn't. She say ass head up, head down, 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 head down, ass up. You yeah. was up the hill talking. Like, that's what. That's how, that's how they get down at McDonald's. She get. That's how they get down at Marshalls. I, okay, I, I you had, gotta I had be doing what you gotta do. I had a bullshit ass part time job at Marshalls. And that was just, who Jesus. 
that was just to support my bingo habit. Yeah. <laughs> making us all us all look bad and, you're and i from said one job to from one minute she said read your handbook and you cannot be one minute late that lady wrote me up every single time i was a i was a beast folding them clothes but doing guess what but she didn't give that but guess what but guess what because she was doing her job yeah she was and i and you know what? And honestly, I could be mad at her, but She's, I was looking at her like, God damn, one, one minute? minute? Yeah. One, and and, like, and, and I'm not exaggerating. And it would have been crazy if she would have been like, okay, what time was you supposed to be here? And, it was no, five, and that would have been average. That is understandable. <laughs> yeah. It was 5.30. I would get there at 5.31 or 5.32. And when I, I was running the clock in. Yeah. And 5.32, she, she would be standing at the door like, and baby, let me tell you something. She sound like me with my kids, though. Like, but didn't you know this prior? Yeah. Why didn't you prepare to be here at the time that you needed to be here? Now, my ass is gone. I left you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I was trying to get my shoes, and I was this, and I was just yeah. two minutes late. That's your ass. You knew that you had a time and a place to be, and you should have been there. So but that took good. away from what I did the rest of the day. Yes. Yeah. My, my whole entire job, yes. that took away from that. Even and you have I those. was helping people, mm -hmm. my section was clean or yep. whatever. At the end of the day, she was like, you were two minutes late. Yeah. And, and you, that was it. you have those people. You have those hard, stern people where they take their job yeah. serious. Seriously. Their criteria ain't the same as yours. Mm -hmm. now. Their job is not the same as yours, right, but right. you also have those managers that oh, go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and they're the ones you be looking for. And that's the kind of manager I am. That's, that's the kind of manager I am. I be like, if, if you do gone. what you're supposed yeah. to do, now, Molly, yeah. Molly, no, no. Uh. <laughs> you be wanting to I poke cold, in LA? You be wanting to poke cold oh water gosh. on those people, but you really, gotta, you gotta, you gotta, they doing their job. But then you know what? They give and take being a manager. You're gonna have to have some give and take. Being yeah, a I, I, but I, well, I need you to hear on time. Yeah, but that makes but that, that makes on me not even want to work time. On time, on time is on time. And so, but Woo! also, if you if, okay, so a minute. Hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm gonna add something to that. If I know that you um, you stay in 15, 20, 30, 40 hour late. Because then you coming a minute late don't mean shit to me. But mm -hmm. shit because they mean a lot to them people. You no, know, what I'm saying, I'm saying me. Yeah. So you have to you have to establish that that you could be late like that. Right, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's late to me. Yeah. I'd already told you. I, yeah. A minute? A minute. But then well, I'm, if I'm 20 minutes early. For everything right then a minute later a minute right? later latest yeah, I get fuck. It, I get it. And, and so if you had that mentality if, if that manager has a men that same mentality i get it but also by the same token if you're somebody that's always there after hours to more, make sure everything then I don't, right I don't really, that at that matters. point i don't care what time you get to work yeah but once again start employee. but when does but that line get drawn but sean that's it's that's, no line anymore but that's if, if it, I'm late, so if I'm it, two minutes late, but I stay 30 minutes later. I don't care anymore. Even when I'm not late, I, I stay 30 your, your minutes Your situation late. Went, went, went sour, but I'm saying with me, if I know that's who you are, I ain't tripping on you coming late. But you shouldn't say. But, but, Sean, but, wait, but, wait. Wait, but if I'm like that all the time. If I, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm not always two or three minutes late. I'm not always a minute no, no, late. I can but I stay late. So this this minute should overshadow what I'm doing all no, the time. No, it, it shouldn't, but it does because I can be the way that I am. But say if I'm in, the, in an institution that's uh, watching that's, the, the time and that's all that's what stuff, I was going to say. I can't let you slide. Her job was. 
something different from yours. Now, and her job yeah, had to she be was like, just you being gotta a bitch sure. because in some cases exactly. that's a personal belief. Right. That's a personal it, it, it is. Belief some, some places have that. Like that seven minute Yeah, cushion. they give you a yes. window. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. Not Amazon. Amazon but, did not have but that's no, a, no, no, that's a that. production. Yeah, you know, you got to do a I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Even with Macy's Meal, when I used to work during the holidays, they will turn your ass around one minute. I know what you're talking about. One minute, so, they will turn your ass around. So I've worked with somebody who, a female, who was constantly late at no, this seven, constant. eight minutes. But it was always exactly seven, eight mm-hmm. minutes. That means that's, that's just... So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Y'all, y'all come in early. Though. This is where the company nigga come, shit come in. Yeah. Right, man, because if they want to... Uh, you should come in... On, at least on time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way, it, when it comes down to if, if it's a promotion or something popping up, and oh, well, they don't control when the fuck I come in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh that is. So I, I realize I can't, I, can't, I can't talk to you. Yeah. But in that same vein, if I have the leeway to, mm-hmm. to ignore you coming late, wow. and I know you're going to be there, when the rest of these motherfuckers go home, you still there, you doing your shit. They got don't give a fuck what time you come to work. I like, mm-hmm. God damn, I kind of don't like it, yeah. but I can't complain yeah. because when everybody else gone, this you motherfucker, sure everything right. on she's straight, yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm good. That's but what you it just it depends job. on the yeah. yeah. But I, on don't the come company. in with no attitude. Don't come in with that. But that is that urge for it, dog. Don't be rude. Don't be rude because if I'm coming in on two wheels trying to make sure that I'm here, and I'm running in, and as soon as I hit that clock, even if it's 5.30, and that clock hit that 5.31, then I'm like, okay, damn, I'm late. Yeah. And you standing up there tapping your foot and going on. Just out of curiosity, you don't get anxious when you're late. You don't get that. Hell no. Are you because serious? I get that. I, man, I don't. When I'm I late, it's somewhere. I don't like, know. I'm sorry. When I'm late, it's just like, let me stop and get a Starbucks. Because I'm already late. I mean, I saw one late. person like me. I start sweating. No. It depends on what I'm going to. If I'm supposed to be at a certain place where yeah, my that's business different. is required, I got and I'm a, oh, that's an issue. But I don't know about right. sweating, just, though, Sean. Yeah. No, but I, the thing mm-hmm. is, so in the Navy, one of the worst things you could do is you miss ships late. movement. Well, just be late, period. But the worst thing you can do is miss ships movement. And that means that we didn't want to get out, go out on a two week deployment, three week deployment. And you missed that, yeah. Oh, I get then that. You kiss your career good. Yeah, I, I get that. So, but see, now they, you in that structural. Well, this thing is, Woo! and then it, it happened to us. I wasn't even 20, 20 when I don't know. Well, then you was a kid, basically. But that learning. But you live under you. that for four years. Mm-hmm. You It don't yeah, fall nowhere. It, yeah, it, it doesn't it's go It's embedded in you now. Yeah. now. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I have a physical reaction to being late. We talked about this before. Oh, Jesus. Nigga. Yeah. If, and if you're the reason I'm late. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It's going to be a whole conversation because there's been several reasons. Christopher, Sean, Rito, I love you to death, but oh my gosh, there's been several reasons that I have been the reason that we're late and this never hear the end is of like, I never hear the end mm-hmm. of it. It is the whole ride there and then after we get home, it's like so, um, no, we, yeah, we were, even if we had a damn good time, we had a funky good time, we danced, we laughed, we did, oh my gosh, y'all the, the next show. day, y'all did the show. it's like, need to be a talk so, now. Oh, uh, yeah. we, we were made. like we 10 minutes late because of yeah. you. I'm like, dude. Well, I would get all that out before we arrived to the, that. <laughs> we, he got all of that out, but then oh, I carried on to I'm, the I'm done with it after that. But no, he ain't done with you it. You know what it is, though? <laughs> I, I, just a little off talk, but I can tell you why you, why you mad. <laughs> because how many times do you expect this dude to get mad behind you being late and you still be late? I mean, that. He already knows why you're late. <laughs> yeah, man. Then. If you know that, then you know the consequences. Don't get mad. Been... But then, you know but then it's great. Don't get mad. Hold on, Mel. No, let, me, no, let me take just a little. Please. Chris might get me for this, but if Chris know your ass is late, he needs to if he you. knows that you're you a little suck late, it up. Yeah. either suck, suck it up or say Mel. But I or give you a different better. time yeah, or tricky. That's what I said. Tricky. I, I, used, to do I that. used to be late, though. I used to. I used to be real late, like seriously late. Like I be, oh I used to gosh. be late to events because I was a huge procrastinator. When when Mel having her, no, do that. When, when Mel having her, it ain't it ain't that. I've gotten better. 
Man, I got a baby on her, calling her me. Events at the daiquiri shop. I'm up before everybody. Mm -hmm. He is. I we know. I, I see your ass when I come through the door. I'm like, Sean, you already here. Damn. You got that right. That's right. You here. But I have gotten a lot better. Me too. With owning my own shop, with mm -hmm. listening, because Chris has gotten on my ass so many countless times. I don't even want to hear his mouth anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like a a a. Uh, uh, I don't even know what the call is. Repetitious. I, I just want to close my ears. <laughs> it, it is like just like piercing to my ears. Mm, well, we're late now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that shit. I know. I really be, don't. Stop being late. So now I don't even be late anymore. Uh, well, it is that's been a good like, thing. Oh, oh, yeah. You, you I, showed him. Yeah, I yeah, showed oh, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Like, what like, you got to say? Time, <laughs> yes, I am. But I mean, honestly, it has helped me. It has done a lot for me. But being on time means a lot now, yeah. more than it did at first. I could say that. Because at first, I'm like, these managers are tripping because, damn, what's a minute? But mentally owning my own stuff, now I see changes what it means. It changes. Changes. But now it changes you're your perspective. Yeah. But so, Sean, have you been in a situation <laughs> where you oh, were either I can't. the manager of a, a you know, so you, you have your own business, so there, there are people that have worked for you. Or have you been in a situation where you've been at work and management has made it really difficult for you to to uh, be able to succeed in that business or made it difficult for you to even go to work? So, so. I, I haven't had any employees to particularly work for me in my personal business because mm -hmm. it's been a one or two men show. Right. But from a work perspective, hell yeah. Like, I can give you an example for as HR. So, for one of my, so what I would do for my employees is I would buy them gift cards for their birthdays. Okay. And so, I had one coming from Papa. So, I kept looking for it, kept looking for it, and it never arrived. So, I went down to the mail room, y'all. And y'all gonna probably think I'm lying. I went down to the mail room, and this is a financial company, the same company with that bullshit ass manager. Mm -hmm. So, this is a okay. trend. I was there for five yeah. years. And so, so like um, you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, I did <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just spectacular, you know. So I went to the mail room to go ask them uh, to go see, hey, did we have any backup of mail or anything? She said, "Oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. Nobody haven't checked y'all mail in like two, three weeks." So we've been having to actually oh turn around y'all mail. She said, "Can you please take the mail up?" How the fuck I ain't just say no. Here go. Sure, just give it to me and I'm gonna take it. A whole pail. How would you know though not to do that? Didn't know. Okay. Didn't know. So I went and I went uh I got up to my floor. The receptionist was not there, the receptionist that takes all the mail and packages and things of that nature. So I took it to my desk and I locked it up until she came back to her desk. So when she came back to her desk, I went and took her the mail. It only it was only from my hands to her hands. So next thing you know, same HR that, mm -hmm. you know, gave me the two people, call me upstairs. You have made a for sure violation. And I'm like, I Getting the mail? the fuck I do? I didn't know what I did. She was just like, and we haven't decided whether you're going to be written up or terminated. And I was like, Whoa. what the <laughs> hell? And I was like, oh, what did I do? They said, you wow. had that it conversation is... that I had in the Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> she said, oh, it was only, uh, was it three people? authorized to get the mail and they get checks from clients they get checks from here checks from there check well if it's that serious how the receptionist why didn't know word? why she didn't know she when i went back upstairs and i told her they said it was under investigation and if, if any checks are missing well bitch if you thought how i was would a thing wow. why would you even but, have me in the position but, that you have me in now wow. keep in mind i'm an ad there I, I'm not even a regular. I'm in management myself. So assistant that means director. Uh, associate director. director. Associate. Yeah, associate. yeah, but how, so yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. three weeks backed up. How it couldn't have been not? that. But it couldn't have been that important to you guys because y'all haven't had anybody to check the mail in if over three weeks. they're turning mail away, yeah. Was so so wow. No. We, that put we put it like, like this. We got too. sold to a Fortune 500 company that is now massive. So, no. So, starting off, and then it was somebody of our color Ooh, that no, owns the company. Us, so, I, it was a privilege. We be it was a privilege to the work worst. for them. We be the but, worst. however, so she wanted me to snitch out, y'all. This is no lie. This shit went on for a while. Who gave me the mail from the mailroom? 
And because she they knew better. She wanted, she wanted you to tell. Oh yeah. It. So what they did, they took the time wow. now all the shit going on to pull the cameras to find Ooh, out wow. who gave me the meal. So when they got the cameras, they figured out who downstairs gave me the meal. Well, little did she know that that person was part owner in that company because she said, "I'm gonna have whoever gave you that fire." Fire her if you want to. They gonna kick oh, y'all ass off this God. 16th floor. And it was just us doing the most. And I was just like, so the end of the story was, how about that situation followed me? Uh, when I was up for a promotion, one of the, the big guys, the one who accused me of not doing it, said, well, he had just came a director over our department because my boss that I love and not work for now, <laughs> you know, he got me. Um, he told me, he said, well, you already have a reputation of not following rules. I heard about oh, the male wow. incident. So I wound up getting a verbal. The mail. Yeah, I wound up getting a verbal warning, which I contested them writing me up. So I won my, I guess, little case or whatever yeah. for them. Burp, I mean, uh, giving me a written to me getting a verbal because I'm like, if your own receptionist don't know the rules, how can you write me up and she took So you went from a felony to a misdemeanor. Basically. <laughs> but how just within think, the, within the walls of your yeah, yeah, yeah. So, But just think of how that made me feel because the whole point of it is you don't celebrate your employees that you yeah. hire, but I celebrate the employees that work under yeah, my wow. leadership. And this is what came from it. So it was it was yeah. a hurtful well, situation. Well, was your shit in the mail? Nope. <laughs> Because they have been rejecting mail. Yeah. yeah so we really don't know what's going back nope. or nothing. But so you nope. just assuming yep. that my shit was rejected. Yep. But wait a minute, because y'all owe me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I, look, I look, look, that's the end. Y'all owe me. Y'all owe me. Y'all owe me. Y'all owe me. How do you trust? How do you trust the company? And then you see all these other things going on that they do nothing about. They just turn a blind eye yeah, to. But I get what they a, do. a written, almost a written, if I wouldn't have fought my case to prove where was it, where did I sign that I couldn't get the mail? Like, what publication did you put out that employees can't get the mail? Like, how would anybody Baby, I have would have, I would have, I would have had a whole, yeah. I would have had some it's three, four pages. Yeah. yeah. I would have been ready to go war with they Yeah. Like, oh, wait but a minute, hold up, saying. boo. So, from this episode, these are the takeaways that we have for handling that goddamn snitch. Mm. <laughs> Y'all want me to get the first one? Please. Yeah, go for it. The first one is stop fucking snitching. You Mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> Mind your business, is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't go My extra. Mind your motherfucking business. Is that somebody <laughs> caught up with some bullshit? Okay. Is it, that's kind Leave of difficult to do though, right? You can't do it that. Is. You can't really mind your business. It, it you, is. You expect it, people to clock in at work, uh -huh. do their job, yep. and go home. Yes. Nah. Yes. Nah. Does it take the fun away? I it think does. So. I think it so. But if you're, but when you minding your business, it it stops you from starting shit. Unless y'all just want a workplace. That's well, like if you that. don't, if you don't want to mind your business, stay in your damn lane. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but, 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 but not minding your business is not staying in your lane. Put your signal light on. Oh, I'm gonna wait unless you have that sniper thing. that come up to your company. I need you to be all up in okay. business. Where y'all be at? When when the when the and people that's be coming up that truth, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Now your ass hide. No, yeah, no, we don't you need you to hide somewhere. I'm not gonna stand for this. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> With the ass on the chest. So, so yes, <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, Dasla. What you? What's your yeah. takeaway? Oh. Stay in your damn life. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> get somebody else to do it. Say, uh, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I yep. just personally think that if you do your snitching, make sure you tell the whole story. Yeah. Don't give me part of the story because it's more to what you're saying than what you're saying. That's just me. Um, I personally feel like... Um, in the environment that I work in, there are certain situations that maybe even be warranted where you're going to um, tell on somebody simply because it's, you know, it's a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. If somebody's breaking the rules or something like that. Not that. But it's, it's, it's the yes. petty things yeah. that yes. we do. And, you know, some, some of the people watching this, you might be that dude or that chick and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Um Y'all better stop that shit. Yeah, people are coming to work bringing guns. Well, it's not not so much that. <clears throat> it's, um, you mental. put yourself in a situation where you're um, 
telling people business and you get somebody fired. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know what type of. It's the mental. You're it plays on. You don't know what mental with that livelihood. livelihood. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, the, the yeah. ability to live yes. and stuff. And you kind of have to balance the ambition that you have to move forward with some type of morality. Right. Um, but I guess a takeaway I can take from all of this, you know, like I said, if somebody at work see it, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the answer to it all, because all these things will always exist. But the answer to it all is to try to take my own destiny, my own future in my hands and and do whatever I got to do to, to do for myself. You guys have heard from our panel, Two Sides and Then the Truth. We thank you guys for tuning in. We yes. hope that you definitely got something out of this episode. The whole purpose was to just bring true to life scenarios of what we deal with in the workplace. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all tune in for our next episode. Have you guys decided what we're going to talk about the next time? Uh, we have a pretty good idea. Yeah, okay. we got a good idea. So well, you have to tune in to find out. Yes, and we will reveal it. So thank you guys and have a wonderful evening. Peace. Peace. Yay. I feel like oh, sure you don't look stupid. What y'all think? Yeah, that's oh, okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, like all right. Like okay. Like okay. 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 Yeah, share okay, so I'm going to share this too. Yeah, share it with you. Share it. Thank you, Byron. You're welcome. Hey, can I say something? Sure. Uh, absolutely. I really enjoyed this, right? Uh huh. Because, you know. What you think, what? I think y'all uh, play very well off each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know y'all trying to do that with you, so but she don't accompany the whole thing. Yes. We yeah. try to tell him that. And, and you know, thank you. And all, all three different uh, personalities. Mm-hmm. Thank I, you. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's about me.